Here we are with Jujutsu Kaisen episode 12, and yeah, last episode was weird. So I guess we will see what happens this episode, right? But yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think, and I would say let's get to the episode. So he uses those transfigured humans to for diversion, I guess. <coughs> yep. Let's go. <laughs> well, what can you do, right? <clears throat> I guess literally nothing. Looks like a jellyfish. So yeah, we got the reverse order, right? The school stuff happened first, then the talk about his dead mother happened. While the instructor dude with the glasses was at the hideout where they fought. <clears throat> but yeah, skill, skill still feels weird. The how they set this whole up, this whole thing. We have to fill the rest of the episode, so put something in before it happens, uh, after it happens, before it happens. I don't know, so far, like I said, I, I feel like Jujutsu Kaisen at many occasions is kind of weird. And honestly, I personally don't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. Because people were so hyped about it and said it would be so great and all. So far, it's good, but not as good as people made it out to be, in my opinion. But hey, maybe we have like half the half the season left, so... Maybe that will change, right? <clears throat> Never. Nani? I think that won't help. I wonder when we will see the next time Sukuna in action. Oh. 
How much time has passed? Because small jellyfish, suddenly big jellyfish. <laughs> maybe because of the curse protection maybe around him something or maybe because of Sukuna inside him He didn't account it for the mid-air con movement control. <laughs> that will hurt. <laughs> He's just a ragdoll. <clears throat> well, he doesn't have that life anymore if his mother is dead. My mother died. You're killed. Will he? Is this a guy? Yep. Yeah, he forgot some information. Mm hmm, yeah. He connects the dots.
Yeah, I guess he has no need for him anymore, right? What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Would be too easy. So they know about the pack? All the spit. <laughs> Kill me. Maybe not. I mean, we know it's fine because from the intro we see him sitting next to Itadori, Itadori right? <laughs> oh, can he hit his soul maybe? <clears throat> Is Itadori his natural enemy? <laughs> I guess that makes sense, right? I never want to kill someone. I don't want to. Well, yeah, I come and gonna kill your ass. <laughs> Nah, I'm gonna kill you. You don't deserve exorcism.
Oh. Oh. <clears throat> so making a pack that Sukuna maybe can take over completely. And that way they can make they can maybe get Sukuna on their side. Now he has wings, obviously. Knives. Almost. <clears throat> no drill that he can shoot. Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't know. And the arm came back. Oh, spikes. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, he can manipulate his body however he wants to, right? So. I mean, I guess Sukuna has to come out at some point. <clears throat> because if he doesn't want to die. Domain? No, yeah, maybe not. Somewhat, maybe. <laughs> Headbot. Was other? Oh, okay. I thought someone else would come to help him. I'm fine. <laughs> mm. 
because I punched the shit out of him. <laughs> okay, let's go. I think they won't succeed, right? I would be surprised if they can ex actually exercise somebody right here, right now. I guess someone, either he gets away or someone will come and help him get away, right? <clears throat> because either he will be the villain for the whole first season, or he will be even go beyond season one, I guess. Okay. What do we have here? For that game. So yeah, that was the episode, and again, I feel like there is not much to say, really, right? It was a fight, Jinpei revealed why he is doing this, and then suddenly Patchwork Face shows up and reveals that he was just using Jinpei as a tool, and then Itadori and Patchwork Face fight. But yeah, um... While instructor guy with glasses can't really hurt him because he can just like remodel his body again after something gets chopped off because of his curse technique, right? Um, Itadori actually can hurt him because from what it sounds like it's because Sukuna is in Itadori's body and so he has some like connection to souls and maybe has like a feel for it, right? So he actually can hurt a soul which is like his actual body. What? You have to hurt and destroy in order to beat him, right? So, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, his ability to, like, reassemble his body, basically, because it's based, because he can manipulate his soul, is kind of crazy. Like, he can stretch, he can, like, make spikes out of his body and all that shit. I don't quite get how he could dodge at the end. How he could like move suddenly so quickly to go around Itadori. Hmm. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so next episode we keep fighting, I guess, and try to exercise him. But like I said, I think he will probably get away or someone will help him get away. Because I don't think, I mean, or what also could happen is maybe that instructor guy and Itadori maybe still lose. And. Maybe Gojo or someone else is showing up and helps them, and then he gets away, right? But I guess eventually it will end with he gets away because he will eventually get outnumbered or will lose. Or someone will help him get away because for the same reason, right? I don't really see him dying here right now because, like I said, I think he will probably be the villain for the rest of the season one. Or maybe be even go beyond that, right? That he is like a long-term villain, maybe. If he gets exercised here and defeated, then that would be very surprising for me. We will see, right? But yeah, otherwise, there isn't really anything else to say, right? It was basically just fighting, fighting, fighting the whole time. And I mean, Jinpei, I think, will be fine in the end, right? Because um, 
we saw him in the intro sitting like next to Itadori and having like the uh, Jujutsu uniform on, right? So he will be fine. What I think is interesting is that we didn't saw Sukuna taking over for a long time and now he again refuses because he isn't playing along with Itadori, he just wants to see him suffer, I guess, too, right? He doesn't really care about Itadori. But I would imagine that it, if Itadori gets, like, very, very hurt to the point that he might die, then he would have to take over, right? Because otherwise he would die too, right? I mean, he says that he doesn't really care because he has other fingers, right? So as long as some fingers are left, he's fine. But I, <clears throat> doesn't his Sukuna strength depends on how many fingers combine basically to get his body back, right? So the more fingers, the better, I would imagine. Or maybe as long as one finger is. If, if fingers get destroyed, how can he ever come back together? If the fingers, maybe just the remaining fingers can be enough to revive him basically or something. I don't know how it works quite yet, I guess. It seems kind of weird when, if I keep thinking about it. Okay, yeah. We will see. I'm I'm wondering when he will take over at some point, right? At some point he will take over. So interested to see when that will happen. But yeah, I guess that's the episode. So if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.